Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Vicky and today I have a beginning video of a hair growth challenge. So I'm not going to be showing the results in this video. This is just the beforehand video. That video will be up at the end of July. So as you all know, we are currently in lockdown due to the coronavirus and the hairdressers haven't been open in a while. The last time I got my hair done was the beginning of December. I got it cut into a short bob about here and I had it coloured and that is the last time I went to the hairdressers. So my hairdresser messaged me um, last week and she is opening on the 6th of July and the first time I could get in is the 18th which from this weekend is nine weeks. So I thought, why not try and grow my hair as long as I can before my next appointment? You know, as much fresh new hair as she has to deal with to get the best haircut and colour. So my aim is to grow my hair nine centimetres in nine weeks. That works out at about 3.5 inches in two months just over two months. So that is my goal. That is what I'm going to try and do. My hair grows mm, kind of fast anyway. I'd say it probably grows about an inch a month, which is, it's above average. Um, the normal hair growth rate is about 0.5 inches a month, but it can go up to an inch a month. So I'm just trying to push it just that, just that little bit extra. Um, so the reason my hair grows quite well is because I already take care of it. When I was younger, I didn't really care about shampoos and conditioners. I use heat on my hair all the time because I have super frizzy hair. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, I used to dye it all the time. Didn't care about shampoo and conditioners, used heat on it. Didn't really care about exercise or eating healthy. And so yeah, my hair was always kind of damaged and fried. I found out about two years ago that I actually have naturally curly hair. I mean, I knew I had naturally curly hair, kind of. When I was younger, I used to have ringlets. And then when I hit my teenage years, it just kind of turned into a frizzy mess. Um, and that is because I was brushing it and using heat on it. So over the last couple of years, I've learned to be kinder to it. I don't use sulfates or silicones on my hair and I've stopped colouring my hair at home. I only get it done at the hairdressers now. So that has been kind of like my two year journey to healthier hair anyway. So my hair is in really good condition at the moment. It is actually straightened at the moment. I straightened it for this video and yeah, it's super greasy because I'm going to do one of the things for this hair growth challenge this weekend. So I needed to get this video out of the way first before I did that. So what am I going to do? How am I going to try and improve on that to get it to grow just that little bit extra? Most people would probably go the vitamins route and start taking stuff like that. I have tried biotin twice and I actually tried it earlier on in this year and it breaks my skin out awfully. Like ridiculous. I'm not even joking. I didn't know that this was a reaction you could have to it. The first time I tried it, that's what happened. So I stopped taking it because of that. And then this year, I tried a lower dose of biotin to see if that I'd be able to get the benefits from that without the breaking out. And I couldn't. I broke out. It was awful. So I won't be taking any form of supplements. But what I will be doing is keeping up with my hair treatments more often. So because I have naturally curly hair, my hair needs protein. And so I'm going to be doing bi-weekly, is that every two weeks? Is that bi-weekly? Or does bi-weekly mean twice a week? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a protein treatment every other weekend, which is what I'm going to be doing today, which is why my hair obviously needs washing because you do, I'll be doing rice water rinses so you cook some rice in excess water so there's loads of water and you can eat the rice you can do whatever you want with the rice i tend to just give it to the dog the dog loves rice um and then you you let the water cool down and you shampoo your hair and then i put the i do the rice water rinse which i just sort of in the shower upside down just pour the i have like a bucket and a bowl with the water in and i just pour it over and then re-pour it over and like scrunch it in and just, and then I let that soak about 10 minutes while I'm doing everything else in the shower. 
then it rinsed it out on condition. Make sure you're using a good conditioner if you're going to do that because protein, obviously, after protein you need moisture. It's a balance. So I'm going to be doing a rice water rinse every other weekend. I'm also going to be doing a hair mask every week. So every I wash my hair twice a week on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. So when I wash my hair on a Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a hair mask. I'm going to mix it up between my store-bought hair mask and DIY hair masks. So the store-bought one that I'm currently using is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food Banana and Shea 3-in-1 Hair Mask for Dry Hair. Yeah, it has, it's no, silico, no silicones, a natural hair mask, and I love it. It smells incredible. I love bananas, so I love this hair mask. Um, I've actually used quite a bit of it, so by the end of this month, this will probably be all gone, which I don't mind because they have three different ones in this range, and I would like to try one of the other ones. So that is one of the hair masks I'll be using, and I might, like, mix it up with some DIY hair masks like egg and yogurt and stuff like that and I'm also going to be doing the inversion method like there is a million videos on YouTube about the inversion method if you want to learn more about it then google not google YouTube one of them videos because I'm not going to be going into the science of how the inversion method is meant to work for the inversion method I have this mixture it's half and half of coconut oil and castor oil and I'll just warm a little bit of that up rub it in my scalp while upside down for five minutes and then hopefully on a weekend I'm gonna leave it in overnight but during the week when I'm doing it and I'm going to work it's gonna have to be rinsed out on the evening speaking of rinsing out my hair uh, these are the shampoo and conditioner I am currently using it's the wave hello by Norte I I'm not in love with this shampoo and conditioner. Um, the shampoo doesn't lather as well as other sulfate-free shampoos that I have used. Um, and I tend to, st my hair still feels a little bit greasy when I get out of the shower, um, like up at the roots. And then the conditioner is very lightweight. So the ends then feel quite dry compared to other conditioners that I've used that are silicone-free. Um, and the roots are still greasy. So I'm not loving these, um, but I'm still playing around with them and trying to get them to work. So that's all the like products and methods I'm gonna be trying to do. On the flip side, I've also said I'm not gonna be taking any vitamins or anything like that, but I am gonna try and eat foods that are good for your hair. So I read this article and it had a list of like 15 foods that are good for your hair and why they're good for your hair. If you would like to see a video on on that topic, then like and comment below and let me know and I will do that video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to eat foods that have nutrients and stuff in it that are good for your hair because stuff like that is also good for your skin and your nails. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm also going to try and drink more water because I do not drink water at all. I have two water bottles and they're on my side and I never use them. So I'm going to be trying to drink more water. I don't know how much more water. Um, I'll see how that goes, but I'm definitely going to try and drink more water. And exercise. I am going to be starting a Chloe Ting um, program, which lasts about a month. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I'm going to try and exercise more because stuff like that, exercising, eating right, drinking water, all people all say that that contributes to healthy hair. If the inside of your body is healthy, then it shows on the outside. So that is what I'm going to try and do. Um, but like I said, my hair already grows about an inch a month and there's only so much you can do to make your hair grow faster, longer. Your hair has a end point. So mine is about there. My hair never grows any longer than there. Um, and the plan is to get it to about there. So just, just above its end point. So let's get into the fun bit. I'm gonna measure my hair. Um, what I'll do is I'll take these clips out. I recently cut my own hair, I cut a fringe into my hair. Um, I think I'm gonna let that grow out before I go to the hairdressers and see just because I don't know how long my hair is going to get and I don't know if I'm going to still want a fringe 
but yes this is currently my hair it's massively grown out but i did only have balayage highlights to begin with so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this bit that's just behind my ear because i feel like this is the easiest bit to know you've got the same bit again if that makes sense when i remeasure so let's go for it is this centimeters i'm gonna measure in centimeters because the aim is nine centimeters a week because it's nine weeks and that is roughly 3.5 inches but we're gonna stick with centimeters because i'm english as well so we we mainly deal in centimeters oh, this is gonna be hard right so it's right up against the scalp uh -huh. Right, and that's where the last hair was. 19 and a half centimetres, I would say that is. Let's do the other side, just to double check. I've got a feeling that one side of my hair is longer than the other. I don't know why, so we'll see. Let's have a look. No, nope, 19 and a half centimetres. That is how long my hair is. This is what it currently looks like. Do you mind? Sorry, that's just the dog. Um, there's somebody walking past outside, so she's kicking off a little bit. I believe that is everything I wanted to say in this video. The second part of this video with my results, like I said, will be out at the end of July on the 18th of July I will be getting my hair cut and coloured and so the results will be out around then Obviously, I've got to edit the video and everything like that That video is going to include like little clips of me doing hair masks and doing the inversion method So if you're interested in that then please subscribe and click the little notification bell and you'll see when that video comes out Also, I'm probably going to be posting pictures of my hair I'm going to be trying heat-free curls and trying to embrace my natural curls again. Um, so pictures like that and little stories are going to be up on Instagram. So if you want to keep updated in the meantime, then go and follow me on Instagram. The link will be down in the description. And yeah, that is everything for this video. Wish me luck on my challenge and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!